How's it going everybody? I'm Aaron Nick and welcome to Dark Souls 3. I'm just going to give a quick little explanation of how I'm going to be playing the game. Um, because this is going to be the only face cam you see of the game. I'm playing on my PlayStation and it's a little bit difficult to do face cam on it. So whatever. You don't have to look at this. Um, the second point um, is that I already started playing it on my own. So I've seen a bit of the game. Uh, so it's not necessarily all going to be blind. I plan on trying to do this Let's Play. Uh, let this Let's Play get ahead of where I'm at in the gameplay. So that's my that's my plan with this. Um, 10 to 12 minute videos, kind of just a lot of a lot of them. Um, and if there's any grinding, then I'll probably do it off camera. I'll let you know though. At the start of each video, if I did any grinding, I'll just say, hey, I did some grinding, and this is what I accomplished. But that's just keep it entertaining. Keep it keep it from the same thing happening over and over again. This game looks, this game is fucking awesome. I think this is, uh, I think this is already in my top three for them. I mean, I know there's only five games, but, uh, yeah, this is already with, uh, kind of tied with Dark Souls 1, Bloodborne, and, uh, then this one, Demon Souls and Dark Souls 2 were kind of lower on the list for me. But, uh, yeah, let's get going. Hope you enjoy. Here we go. Dark Souls 3. Just, just listen to this song for a second. The, today is the day. It came out today. New game time. This video, this... Yes. Everything indeed. about this game is epic. It's just as epic as we've been waiting for. It is called Lothric. Where the transitory lands of the Lords of Cinder converge. And I still don't fucking understand the story. I played all of them. I'll be honest in that. I played all five in games. I, I don't understand the story. Well, I mean, Bloodborne can't be counted in that. But I don't understand the, the storyline from the Demon Souls words. till now. I have ideas, vague ideas. You just go places and take care of things. And the lords go without thrones. Now we have some turtle men here. Poor turtle man. When the link of fire is threatened. The bell tolls, unearthing the old lords of Cinder from their graves. Aldrich, saint of the deep. Undead Legion, the Abyss Watchers. And the reclusive Lord of the Profaned Capital. Yom the Giant. And I believe. Truth? Oh, I thought that was the end of it. The I thought it was already over. Sorry. Abandon their thrones. And the unkindled will rise. Nameless, accursed, undead. Unfit even to be Cinder. And so it is that Ash seeketh embers. I 
All right, now I think this is the moment where I get to play. Start. Yep. So I gotta make my guy. So I'm just gonna make him real quick. I'm. Uh. How about uh. Sir. Sir. Bagel. Ton. Sir Bagleton. <laughs> uh, man, that's fine. Class. Okay, so this is this is where I'm gonna do something different. I actually, I have never ever played Pyromancer in any of these games, and I think I'm gonna go the Pyromancy route. I have gone Sorcerer before, but I've never gone just straight Pyromancer. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, build's fine. Appearance. It's so minimal. It doesn't matter. So. Sorry, I, I personally like character creation in a lot of games. This is just one that's like, it's so simple and benign. It doesn't even matter because I'm going to get a different set of armor later on. So yeah, I've been, so what I've been doing so far in the game has been going through as a, um, as a straight warrior. And I think I'm just going to do pyromancy for this playthrough because it's something I've never done. I think it's a new experience and that'll be great. And then I'll rise, rise from the ashes. And uh, this game, um, what I've seen so far, uh, I have, I've made it through two bosses, uh, the first two bosses. And I'll let you know as soon as we hit the first one that I've not gone through. But seems what, from what I've seen, and I mean, this isn't necessarily the worst thing in the world, but the game... Alright, so, fireballs in my left hand. Alright. And this game does use magic. Um, so you need to use your magic to... Uh, or FP, I don't know what it stands for. Fire! <laughs> I, like, I like how he... Uh, how he's like, don't burn me! Please, I don't want to die. So I already know a little bit at the beginning. I'm just gonna roll through here fairly quickly, I hope. I hope I don't make like too many mistakes now. Alright. Hello. Wow, he still died in one hit. I was thinking I'd be much weaker just from picking Pyro, but guess not. Hello, sir. Sitting against the wall there. Wow, I'm already, uh, so I'm already throwing a little off balance just because I'm used to holding the shield all the time. But because I'm not holding a shield, I keep wanting to press it as soon as I see guys coming towards me. So this might throw me off between like my normal playthrough thinking that, but I'll get used to it before long. These guys are just hanging around, so. All right, up the stairs we go. And this, this like right here was just the moment I was like, fucking A, this game is here. Look at that scenery. Look at it. Look at it! It's beautiful, it's fucking gorgeous. That's the best part about these games. Like, look at, look at that. And then you look at that place and you're like, oh, can I go in that castle? We fucking will in a couple minutes. Bet your sweet ass wheel. We're gonna go there. We're gonna go on an adventure there. Die, die cult guys. That's what they make me think of. These guys are very cultish. And, okay, so several of the enemies um, almost seem like they're more drawn out of Bloodborne at this point than they are from uh, the older Dark Souls games. I mean, they're not old. None of these games are old. That's the thing. They like, they've been pumping out a fair amount of games. So like, it's basically just expecting a, a game every year. Um, I imagine next year we're gonna get Bloodborne 2 or another game. So, and before I go that way, I'm just gonna go over here real quick. Take care of that. 
go down here, give these guys the old one, two. Oh, fire! Damn it. Fire! It's, like I said, it's gonna, take, it's gonna take me a minute to get used to all this. Because I'm not 100% sure I'm gonna do that great as a pyromancer. That was really my one worry. I was thinking like, you know, I just might want to start again as a swordsman. Thinking I'm gonna do terrible, but you know, the deaths and the being terrible might not necessarily not be entertaining, so. Just watch me fucking suck. That's this flask. Which, this is also why I wanted to do this, because um, for magic runs and stuff, you actually have to pick between your Estus Flask and your uh, and your uh, Ashen Flask, so it's more important. Look at this guy, what could he be? Remove sword. All right, let, let's just help him out. Let's give him, let's give him a hand. Hmm. Really friendly dude. Really friendly dude. I just, I just pulled the sword out and then slashed you a hundred times. Come on, buddy. Come on. Damn it, dude. That was actually my I was thinking the charge time might not be a Alright. So, I'm actually gonna go get out with him real quick because I know how to fight him. Kinda. I say that and then I get hit. But I know how to dodge most of his attacks. Because he's just doing these biggies. Come on. Come on! Fuck! This is actually a lot more distracting than I thought it would be. Alright, so now he changes into this, which is a new thing that's kind of appeared more in this game. So, normal enemies actually will do this later on. But for now, he's just this big fucking crazy thing. Damn it. Damn it. Fire! 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 Come on! <laughs> I just need a real fight. Are you kidding me? It was at his feet. Alright, thank God. I would have been embarrassed. I killed him my first try on the. Uh, when I was using swords. I was gonna be so fucking embarrassed if I didn't beat him just now. Alright, rest the bonfire, fill up my flasks. And give it a little, give it a little bow. Because I didn't set those yet. Alright, so this is the new effect. So, um, my guy is, uh, he's got these little chars on him now. And I think this looks awesome. I am super excited when I'm playing. So this is the equivalent of being alive again or like, so this gives me the extra strength. And grab this quick. And I will see you guys in the next video. So thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, please go down below and let me know. Like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.